Good morning guys. I think this is my new favourite filming spot because I can just put the camera on this shelf here. I don't need to worry about setting up a little tripod thing. When my dad's at work, I don't have the lunch box on the table to put the tissue box on to have the tripod. I, um, I really can't wait to get one again, a tripod. I might actually buy like a really cheap one on eBay. Just like a really lightweight one that can go up quite high and stuff but still kind of small so I can potentially use it in the gym. Don't know. Um, anyway, I forgot to end the vlog. Oh no, that's a lie. I didn't forget to end the vlog last night but by the time I remembered that I hadn't ended the vlog, I was already in bed and warm. And because of my, my delayed onset muscle soreness from leg day, I couldn't be bothered getting out of bed. I'd already brushed my teeth, I was ready for sleep. So I didn't end the vlog. But hey, it was, it was still more than a one take, so I've got that going for me. Um, I didn't end up going to the gym yesterday. I'm probably not even going to go today, which means, because just because Emily's here and um, actually she's asleep right now. There's nothing stopping me from going to the gym. Hmm. I know I'll be lazy. Um, just that, because I will probably do, probably do a um, push day. Maybe I could just start the week with a pull day. I don't know, sorry, rambling about um, gym, because I haven't done chest this week, maybe I should just do it at home. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, um, that was the kettle that you could hear before, boiling. Emily and I are going to my nephew Brandon's going away party. He's moving interstate for the army, which is crazy. Can't believe he's moving. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's going to be good. It's going to be good to see everyone, my whole family. I'm really going to enjoy it. Um, it's times like those where... You've really got to soak it up because I don't get to see my family as much as I would like, um, especially these days. That might change, especially with my nieces and my nephews at my sister's house. That might change eventually because we're planning on moving closer to them when we buy our house. So I hope that changes because they're all at such a cute age. Like Mackenzie's still really young. Ethan's at that age where he's sort of turning into a, an actual person, can have conversations, and he's really funny and witty. And then Tali is obviously 12. So. She's um she's getting on in her years too. She turns 13 later this year. I can't believe she's a teenager. Brandon's a, an adult. That's fucking crazy. So yeah, um, I'm really just going to focus on enjoying the day and being in the moment. Um, I'm not going to beat myself up for having a cheat meal because I know I'm going to have a cheat meal. And I didn't do anything dumb this morning. Like, I've been really hungry this week. I didn't do anything dumb and be like, oh, I'm not going to eat all day so that my cheat meal doesn't have as much of an impact. Instead, I just ate breakfast. I ate like 350 something calories and I'm probably going to eat something similar for lunch before we go because I'd rather eat during the day and potentially not be as, as hungry when I get to my sister's house that I don't fucking binge eat and go crazy. Probably will binge eat and go crazy but one meal at a party from 5 till like 10 p.m. is not going to change things for me. I'm very motivated. I know that it's just circumstantial at the moment that I'm so hungry and that it'll go away like maybe in a couple of days I won't be so hungry anymore. So. That will be good. It is a lovely day outside. Quite nice, maybe I should go for a walk. I, I say all these things as if I'm gonna do them. Probably not though, my legs are sore. Um, I'm already on, bonus, 2,200 steps from going out last night, which by the way, was very, very fun. I love socializing. I especially love socializing now that I'm sober. I haven't had a drink in, since September, so, Oh, that was the fridge making funny noises. Um, I told myself that I would go a year without drinking. And I think September September 12th, 11th, 13th, something along those lines. That's that's 12 months. I don't even know that I'm going to go back to it after I my 12 months is up. It's just, I prefer living this way so much. Longer. Number one, I'm a very stingy person. I like to save my money and I don't like to spend it on frivolous crap. And drinking is so expensive and it literally does nothing good for you. It's enjoyable, I'll give you that. It's enjoyable, um, but you know, I might go out and I would drink pints. Pints might be, depending on where you are, nine to $14. I will drink about eight of them, maybe more sometimes and get ridiculously drunk. And I will have spent well over a hundred dollars and I'll wake up the next day feeling like shit and I'll eat shit food while I'm drinking. There's really, in my mind, no benefit for it. Um, and then the next day, my athletic performance is off. So I'm already dealing at the moment with um, fatigue after doing two courses of antibiotics in a row. It's pretty much what hangovers are like. 
like doing a really bad course of antibiotics and then the next day you just can't do anything you can't run you can't lift it just it's shit so it's not worth it um so yeah i really don't think i'm gonna go back to it after after a year maybe very occasionally but then i also remind myself that at its very core drinking alcohol is drinking poison the reason you get tipsy is because you're poisoning yourself it's really not good for you i sound like a preachy non-alcohol person but um i don't know my life's just been way happier since not drinking but yeah last night was great i love going out and socializing so much um and i love like i was there to meet my friend gavin and to meet his girlfriend vicky but then they ended up leaving like not super late but they left at about 11 and emily and i stayed until 12 30 because we know some of his friends like a little bit but yeah I, did, I didn't want to go so i didn't go and i just um just stayed even though they're not technically my friends still had a nice time and it was an awesome night um yeah i like socializing a lot i'm rambling i'm getting into the whole um look six minutes it's the same as like my starting clip yesterday about six minutes i'm getting so rambly i love talking um but yeah I'll run out of things to talk about eventually and I'll be back to the one take vlogs, but for now, not gonna happen. I'm feeling super motivated. Welcome to cooking with Emily. <laughs> Hi! Master Chef, so um for Brandon's going away party it was initially gonna be a barbecue, but it's gonna be shit weather. So I think my sister decided to do sort of like roast meat and stuff. Um, so we're taking roast vegetables and mum made a joke that you would be the one that cooks it. Mm. She wasn't wrong. No. But, to be fair, if we're honest, who normally cooks dinner? Taylor! Taylor, exactly. But yeah, so we've got potatoes, onions, carrots, pumpkin, broccoli, mm -hmm. and Cabbage? Wait, what's this shit? That's cauliflower. It's cauliflower. Ah, I can't see it under all the leaves and shit. Yeah. It's in there somewhere. Eggplant and rosemary. Looks like it's gonna be good. Yeah, and right now I'm just getting. Gonna... How do you make it? What do you like um bake it on? Roast it on? Uh so just put it in the roasting tray? Yeah, but for how long? Uh for... Oh but like what temperature? 220. 220? Yeah. And Emily reckons it's usually about an hour it takes. Yeah, so you put it in for like ready. 40 to 45 minutes, you check it, see how Are it you parboiling the potatoes? Yeah, of course. Par <laughs> I think parboiling is such a dumb term. Just say partially boiling. Um, you parboil those potatoes, Emily. You you go, girl. Thanks, honey bear. Thanks, yeah. honey bear. Aw, <laughs> oh, cute. Um, so, yeah. It is now 2 o'clock. We'll probably leave not, not too long after four, I hope. Should be good. Definitely not going to the gym today. Um, my legs are still so sore. When did I do leg day? Uh, Thursday? Been, yeah, Thursday. <gasps> it's now Saturday and my legs are like, still killing. I can guarantee you they're not going to be a better by tomorrow either. Such is life though. That's, that's the way it is. I'm going to go have a shower, honey. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Unless you need my help? No, I'm all good. Okay. Shower for me then shower achieved um, i've got to say i find it almost 100 percent necessary to dry my hair to blow dry my hair in winter i think it might just be this winter i don't know if it's true but i think i'm feeling the cold this winter more than i have in a really long time um, and it's shit like last night we were standing out standing on the rooftop of a bar and it was covered and there was a fire but the fire was shit um, but my jeans weren't enough. I felt like I could have done with thermals underneath. I felt like I could have been wearing at least two pairs of socks and I felt like I could be wearing another jumper and I was already wearing two jumpers and a long sleeve t-shirt and a jacket and I wasn't warm enough. There's something about these Melbourne winters. People just say they're really, really cold compared to other winters and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. A bowl of broccoli here. A bowl of broccoli and onion. An onion? Yeah. Onion in there too. Onion in there and then cauliflower. Yeah, I don't know if it's because we're not equipped for it because it doesn't really get that cold so we don't have really cold weather gear or if it's because it's really windy or if it's just bitingly cold but it's fucking bad in Melbourne, really bad. Um, yeah, I probably should have dried my hair a bit more but I'll survive. Um, I'm so excited to see everyone, it's going to be awesome.
I feel like I didn't really appreciate it's the last time I'll see Brandon for a pretty long time is moving up to Darwin didn't really even speak to him that much did I I was so tired yeah so you're having a bit of a chat with him for a while and sat with him for a long while I just spent time with him I was talking to him about weightlifting um I want to see him many more times in my life I want to miss him so much it's not even funny it makes me want to cry I'm just gonna have fun up in Darwin and we'll go and visit him, for sure. It's really good being around everyone. Like I said, though, I was really tired, so I was almost too tired to enjoy it. I was about to fall asleep at about seven o'clock. Something on my nose. I have powder on my nose. I haven't been sniffing cocaine. I've been eating a donut because it's my cheat cheat meal. Which is sort of a bit more than a cheat meal. Went a bit overboard. No more so than Tuesday, though. Um, and I don't want I don't want to have a cheat meal for a while. At least until Friday when I go out with Emma and Kylie. It was a great night. I'm going to miss Brandon immensely. I love that boy so much. Best of luck to him and Darwin. And I can't wait to see him at some point relatively soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.